In the beginning, God created the heavens and He created the earth. He created every living thing upon the earth. Thousands of years later, along comes myself, Ed Waters, and I created Free Circle so I could bring you the fireside. We want to bring you truth with integrity, insight that's right, and stories that matter the most today. So climb on in, buckle up, let's take a ride on the fireside. Happy Thanksgiving. This morning is Thanksgiving 2018 and I want to wish everybody well. I want to also take this time to think about those in need. Those people without food, shelter, or companionship. A simple hi. How are you today? Yes, there are people without even that. The world is a heavy place. Thanksgiving is a time for families, friends, and community to gather and remember and talk and associate. Remember those times in the past reflect on the happiness, the hardships. I loved this time of the year when I was younger. My mother was up early and had the house smelling like Thanksgiving morning early. And as a child, I remember just being excited for that pie. You know, it's it's quite the thing, a Thanksgiving gathering. My mother, I remember she used to go out and she would find the homeless or service members that did not have a place to eat and she would invite them to the house seems like every year we had strangers at the house eating Thanksgiving with us. My mother was a very caring woman and she loved unity. She was a very stern, upfront woman. But when that woman put together a Thanksgiving meal, she had unity in mind the joy of family gathering. My mother was a very good mother when it came to providing unity to people. She used to take us all to the park and play baseball with us. My mother would always be the pitcher and we would have family, friends, and all of, all of the people people would just gather and participate. I remember one year a gentleman named Joe Becerra. He he was a pitcher for I believe it was like the San Diego. Padres or something. I don't. I don't remember. But it was a baseball team, and he played for him. But I always wanted to pitch. Well, they finally gave me the opportunity to pitch, and I remember I had to pitch to Joe Becerra, and 
I pitched to him, and boy, he hit that softball, and it came straight back to me and nailed me in the gut. Just, I never wanted to pitch again. <laughs> but these thoughts and memories of family, fun, and participating in events, they're always sparked by Thanksgiving. Unity is a good thing. And to promote people coming together and just remembering, what are you thankful for? Today, I'm thankful just to be alive. I'm thankful for everything that I have. I'm thankful for you. You're alive. You're listening. I'm thankful for a lot of things nowadays. I used to overlook all the things I was truly thankful for. I'm thankful for a good wife that can communicate with me. After 33 years of marriage, we're still like best friends. We have our moments, but I am thankful for every moment, good and bad, that I have spent with my wife. It's built a unity between a new family, my family. So, Thanksgiving is a wonderful time. A lot of people are without, and I want you to think about that today. If you can, get out there and help somebody. Talk to them. Invite them to your house and give them a meal. That's hard for people to do nowadays. Society has shifted and changed. So there's not a lot of trust in humanity anymore. We've got to build that bridge of trust and unity again. And how do we do that? Through conversation. We start talking to people without judging people. We're all different. We all have different viewpoints. Politics and religion run the world. We are all involved in those subjects. Don't be afraid to express yourself. When you're afraid to express yourself, you're not a free individual. So, expression is a key factor in people being happy and living in unity together. Expression. Everybody is special. Everybody has hopes, dreams, and thoughts. I encourage that. Diversity built America. Diversity is important. You don't have to agree with everybody. That would be boring. Yes, your thought, your diverse thought, your objectionable thought, it's all valuable. And it does matter. How we communicate matters. Communication is not a boxing ring. Communication is the ability to listen just as well as you talk. Communication is key. And we've got to be able to communicate effectively with each other. It's important. So today, let's dive in. Let's enjoy a good meal. Let's be thankful for everyone and everything. Because we are unity. And unity 
communicates effectively together. Happy Thanksgiving and spread love. Be a lifter upper, not a putter downer. Give advantage, don't take advantage. And remember, there's always something to be thankful for. Well, that's it for another Free Circle Fireside. Thank you for joining us. You can find us on the web at freecircle.website. You can join in on the live shows or leave a message and we'll get your voice out over the message. The call in line is 971 533 7805. Join Free Circle, get your voice out, and thank you for joining the fireside. Ed, Free Circle.